Okay. What makes Cafe Americano special? Well, first of all, we roast our beans here, so this is almost as local as you can get in the Hollywood area. Um, my boss is an expert and a master in the coffee field. It's taken him, uh, excuse me, it took him about, I want to say like two years to get the license. It's called a Q grader, so he specializes in coffee beans. Not only that, he's a fashion designer, you know, still beforehand coming here. And I think all the care and, and the knowledge that goes into coffee is a huge, huge deal. And I've learned so much about coffee from working here and the industry itself. And I honestly, one day, you know, maybe five, eight years or something, when I'm an actual legitimate expert in the field, want to compete in competitions. Like, I'm so dedicated and passionate about coffee, and I actually love coffee. And it was this place, it's really funny, the first time I ever came in here, randomly enough, with an old roommate that I lived with, um, I came in here, and I had just started drinking coffee black, um, trying out different places. The first thought that I had when I walked through this door was, I'll never be able to work here. I had the best trip I ever had, which was in Indonesia. And then I started coming back. Um, we offer lots of really good drinks. Um, okay, so my boss is the creator of A Hangover, which is two shots of espresso, and Perrier. It refines your palate. Uh, it cleared my sinuses. I don't even drink anymore, but I still drink it. And I shake arado, which is two shots of espresso with agave. Shaken in a tin comes out to about that much with like that much creme on top. You still get the best of both worlds because it's not overwhelmingly sweet. Also, um, you get the taste of espresso. Um, we do icy salt cappuccinos here. It originally started, I believe, in a cafe in San Francisco, um, maybe in some time back then. But how we do it here is it's only iced and. You have two shots of espresso with agave, and you, we froth the milk with a little bit of sea salt, and you mix it all together so you break through like three layers in there. Um, we do siphon pour over. Cold brew machine, which is over here. Um, cold pressed coffee, Dutch coffee, more premium coffee, more caffeine, um, more flavor, bold. That is the kind of coffee I want to drink. But it also depends. I mean, I've been to other coffee shops who do cold brew, and I personally don't like them. They either water it down or it just tastes a little burnt. I don't know. Um, we get our beans directly imported from wherever he orders them from, so there's no other processing. We just get them straight shipped here. Um, I think that this coffee shop stands out a lot uh, from other coffee shops is because you have to be knowledgeable to work here and there's just a lot of care that goes into here. I mean, my coworker, I mean, there's only two people that work here besides my boss, my coworker and I, and I got lucky working here. Um, my, co my coworker came from Portland and was working at a coffee shop there. Uh, he, he knows a lot about the cuppings, the, the tasting, stuff like that. Um, and we're actually teaching each other stuff, like I'm teaching him more on how to perfect pour-overs and he's teaching me latte art training. Um, I don't know. It's a really friendly place. I love it. This literally, I feel like this is a part of me and this is a part, this has brought out uh, and expressed an interest that I never, never thought so highly of before. I mean, I thought I liked coffee, but I would coat it lots of cream and sugar and I know how to make a really, really, really good black cup of coffee. Um, there's, there's so much I can say about this place, so...